What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orfexia and welcome back today to Minecraft. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today, oh my goodness me, we are checking out the latest Minecraft snapshot. This bad boy is 19W13A and today this is going to be kind of a fun one. So, after quite a few months um, of sort of not really sort of having too much information about it because... Basically, we did actually get introduced the raid system quite a few months ago in Snapshots. Well, this one is all to do with changes and improvements they have made to the brand new villager raiding mechanic, I guess. Uh, they've made changes, they've added some cool bits and pieces, and today I thought, you know what, let's jump in and let's check out a raid in action. So I think we did this a couple of months ago and it kind of worked, but it also kind of didn't. Um, so I'm kind of excited about this one. And randomly, I found this village. Now, I don't know why I picked this village. I think it's quite big and it's quite open. So we'll be able to see the raid in action. But this is something that I've noticed and I've seen this quite a few times. It seems like there's quite a lot of villages that are spawning in the middle of two different biomes. So this one is just like a plains, but it also joins onto a swamp. Which I thought was really, really nifty because as well as the regular villages... <laughs> <laughs> from like you know the 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 plains uh you also have swamp villages now this is the thing i'm not too sure if they've added in the custom villages for the swamp and the jungle biomes but we do actually have the costumes from uh the swamp villages as you can see they've got like lily pads on their head and stuff it's so cool <laughs> but yeah i don't think as of right now they have those two villages in i could be wrong but i definitely haven't seen any so where should we even begin? I have no idea. Ooh, where's the bell? Trying to find the bell. I think I've lost the bell. Um, <laughs> did a bell spawn? I have no idea. Um, I mean, obviously, every single village should contain a bell because it's kind of like a new mechanic. So it kind of does exactly what people were thinking it was going to do. But why can't I see it? Oh, there it is. Hey, okay, cool, cool, cool. Check this out. So... We've got an iron golem just chilling up here, but as you can see here, all of these villagers, they're kind of just chilling. It's daytime, it's nice and safe, they're doing their jobs, but now what happens is when you ring the bell, ding, they will actually run away, <laughs> if they can. So yeah, the, the idea is that basically when the bell is rung, the villagers will go and run back into their houses because they think shenanigans are about to occur. So I thought I'd show you that in action. This dude's running to his house. This dude doesn't know where to go. He's trying to get into this guy's house. He's not letting him in. He's running away. Where are you going to go, dude? I'm curious now. Are you going to go in this house? Yeah, you are. Boom. How long do they stay in there? Out of interest. Hmm? 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 Oh. Oh, there's two in here. Oh, there's three. Huh. And in terms of the actual raids themselves, basically the difficulty-based pattern has been introduced, which determines the exact number of groups that will spawn as part of a raid. Um, so yeah, I think this kind of means the... Um, this either means the waves or the amount of the exact number of groups. So is this the raids as in how many waves, or is this how many mobs spawn within each wave? That I'm not too sure of, but basically easy is three, normal is five, and hard is seven. All raid waves have been rebalanced with certain waves more heavy on specific mobs than other wa uh, uh, waves and earlier waves being significantly less easy than the later waves. What? Earlier waves being significantly less easy than the later waves? What? This is literally straight off the snapshot, so that's a bit confusing. Uh, evokers will now spawn in waves 5 to 7, as opposed to just in the final wave um, before it ends. So now you have, like, more waves when evokers can spawn. And, uh, yeah, now Bad Omen, which is the ability which allows the raid to commence, I think now goes up to 5. Now, this is kind of an interesting thing, because you can also bring this into the multiplayer world, and I really like this. So each person that comes into a village brings the bad omen to the village, but it will increase the level up to 5. So if you've got, like, a few players stacked a couple of bad omens, then if you have enough, it will stack up to a maximum of 5, which means the raid will be at its hardest. I thought that was kind of cool, because it kind of brings, like, a multiplayer tweak on it, where, you know, you can have multiple players with the bad omen ability, and then it will actually affect how hard the raid is going to get. Uh, yeah, and you can now get bad omen up to 5, but only one per killed captain. So, of course, in order to actually get the bad omen, you need to then go and, like, kill a captain, 
Um, and yeah, this is kind of nifty. So just before we begin, a couple more sneaky little changes here, which I think are kind of nifty. So the raiders are now much better at going door to door, and they can actually open doors now. Um, so they'll be constantly moving, they'll be trying to get into houses, they'll be trying to find villages, so the AI has improved a lot. And uh, yeah, there's another thing. If you actually successfully defeat a raid and defend the village, you will be given a reward. This is kind of cool. So this is called the Hero of the Village buff. It will last for two in-game days, and as well as giving you discounts on villager trading, villagers, I think, will show their gratitude by actually giving you free items. So that's something that I really want to see. Um, should we do this? I'm kind of thinking, you know what? We should actually give ourselves Bad Omen 5, and we should go for, like, quite a few waves, just to kind of see what kind of thing we're going to be expecting. Okay, I think I did it right. I've got Bad Omen 5 here, and because it's starred out, it's it's done for long enough that it's not going to run out. Uh, sorry, just to kind of clear something up, it's the Illagers that can open the doors. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd mention that, because I think I said all of them. I think it's the Illagers that can do it. Um, but yeah, are we ready? Are we ready to trigger this off? So think about it, right? We've got Bad Omen. We're going to wander into a village. What on earth is going to happen? Let's find out. It was super slow to trigger last time. I'm wondering if it's going to be quicker. So as soon as we... Oh, wow, it's instant. Look at that. Oh, no, and the villagers are running. Help. <laughs> so the bar fills up at the top. Now, I'm kind of curious. I want to do this from the top because I want to see which direction they're coming in. Oh, look at them. They're all panicking. They're all grouping around the bell. They've rung the bell. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so they ring the bell and then they start running. So they group around it and then they panic. They ring it and they all run off in their directions. Which area are these guys going to be coming through? So yeah, this is uh, raid wave one, I guess. So let's see each wave. Let's see what the mobs actually are. I can't see any. This is a big village, to be fair. So I think the iron golem is also going to be so useful for this. Where are the enemies? Hey! Hey, here they come! Here they come! Dun, dun, dun! So check them out. They've got enchanted crossbows. Oh yeah, check this out. This is really cool. So you've got the guy with the banner. If you take down the guy with the banner, like so, one of the other um, raiders will actually pick up that banner from the guy that died and then start carrying it. I thought that was really nifty. Let me show you that again. Like, hey, hey, wait, give me so much sass with your ninja-like moves. Get out of here. Okay, he's down. So what should happen then is, oh, these guys are really far away. Hey, leave my villagers alone. Get out of here, dudes. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. And we've got a little bit of a cooldown here until the second wave comes. So basically, the level of bad omen determines the probability chance of having the enemy spawn with enchanted weapons. So I think because we've got bad omen 5, it means that more often than not, the enemies that are coming in are going to have those enchanted weapons. They're going to be doing more damage. One thing which is kind of weird is you can actually trade with the villagers whilst you are battling. Which I guess is if you desperately need some extra items, I guess you can still do that. But, alright, so wave two should be triggered. They came over from this direction last time. Hey, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six. It's pretty similar to the first wave, but we do have... Oh, hello, sausage. Look at these dudes, man. Alright, let me take down this guy just to kind of show you again. If we take down you, the other ones will walk towards him. Very slowly, because it's in water. This guy's having a dance. He doesn't care. But one of them is going to... Come on. Don't leave me hanging. Yeah, he picks up the banner. So wave number two is... Uh... <laughs> I think we picked a really bad village for this. Wave number two is just having a breakdance party. What is going on here? All right, you know what? Fine, if you're not going to attack my villagers, I'm going to bring the pain to you guys. I'm going to take you in the water. Boom, boom. Get out of here, dudes. Get out of here. And two more mobs. One more. Okay, the other one actually made it into the village. Where did you go? Aha, there he is. I thought, you know what? Let's actually follow him. Let's see where he goes. So he goes into the houses. Look at him. Oh, oh, he fires three at once. Are you kidding? Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not going to let you take down my villager, buddy. Get out of here. Get out of here. Boom. All right, that's wave number two. And as you can see, we are refilling for wave number three. So it seems like for some reason they're coming over in this direction. Don't know why. I would prefer if it was random, but I guess we can wait here and see what happens next. <gasps> Did 
Did you hear the horn? They brought in a beast. It's not called the beast anymore, is it? It's called something else. But yeah, look at this. Wave number three. Oh my goodness me. A beast. I'm going to call it a beast. I don't think it's called a beast anymore. But I like the name beast, so I'm going to roll with it. Man, they don't like this water though, do they? Um, they breached the gates, Captain. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my goodness me. I'll tell you what I want to do. <laughs> Just because why not? I really liked doing this last time. Um, so what we need to do is... Uh, oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. I wanted to summon in a golem to go and attack the beast. <laughs> because we did this last time and it's really cool. So the beast is quick, man. Are you kidding? Oh my goodness. But yeah, I love this battle. This is such a cool battle. So hey, dude, get out of here. What are you doing? Get out of here. I want to see it in action. Oh, I don't think the iron golem is going to manage it. All right, I'll help out a little bit, buddy. The only worrying thing is the other dudes have wandered straight into the middle of the village. And I'm a little bit concerned what they're doing. So I tell you what. Go on. Go on. Go get him. Go get him. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What a beast. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. So we've got a couple just, like, rocking it in the middle of the village. I have no idea where the villagers have gone. Hopefully, they're all hiding in their houses. But we've got one mob remaining of this wave. They're all panicking over in this direction. Where is the final guy? Where did you go? Where did you go? Ah, I've spotted you. I've spotted you. Oh, no. He got deep in. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Boom. All right, so the only thing that I'm kind of noticing from having a go at this raid, this is the first time that I've done this in this snapshot. The only thing that slightly holds back the raid system is literally the way that the villages generate. Um, because this is a strange village, but I picked it because it's flat. But if there's going to be any cliff edges or any water or any holes or anything like that, it is going to change things up a bit. <gasps> All right, here we go. Raid number four. We've got witches coming in. OMGs. Look at this. Three witches. We've got a um, bunch of crossbows here as well. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. This is witches, raiders, villagers, beasts. So many cool things. All right. They've made it into the village. They've made it into the village. Go on, Iron Golem. You sort them out, buddy. Yeah. I think the Iron Golem is going to be your friend with these village raids. So it's going to be super important like to try and protect him if you can. Look at this dude. He's just cleaned up. All right, but you know what? I'm going to help you with the witches. Get out of here, dudes. Get out of here. And my dude's going to clean up the final dude if he can catch him. Come on. They're not the fastest, the Iron Golems, but they do a really good job. Go on, get him. Go get him. Go get him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that was wave number four. Yeah, they seem to be coming from the same direction each time, so I'm pretty sure you could probably prepare for that somehow. But all right, here we go. Raid number, uh, wave number five. Doesn't take too long between raids. Oh, they spawn really far away. Hey, we've got a beast rider. OMGs. I might just kill him out here, actually. I, I wanna I wanna I wanna get this finished. I wanna see the reward. Okay, so it's another big group. No witches or anything like that, but we've got yet another beast. Okay, this guy's these guys, these guys are going down. Get out of here, dudes. Get out of here, dudes. So another big wave. All of them have enchanted weapons as well. So if you are gonna be doing this in uh, you know, vanilla and survival. You're going to have to get yourself lots of potions, some good armor, some good weapons. To be honest, though, this, this Iron Golem, what a dude he is. He's just cleaning up. <laughs> like, he's doing half the work for me. Like, it's amazing. He's doing so much. So, yeah, having an Iron Golem is going to be such an advantage. If it's a village that you like and you want to keep safe, try and find Mr. Golem. Keep him happy. Get out of here. All right, one more. I think he got into the village somewhere. Where did he go? Look at him. He's checking the doors. Oh. <gasps> All right. Okay, so the AI works so much better, apart from the fact that they do get stuck in the water a bit. But hey, can't have everything. Oh, and we did it. Hey, so another cool feature is that when the raid is complete and you have won, the villagers set off fireworks, which they just did. I don't know if you guys saw that. Hopefully you did. There we go. There's another one. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. We did it. Woohoo. So yeah, look at that. The village is all set of fireworks. Such a nifty little feature. And ooh, we got it. Look, hero of the village. There it is. So this lasts two game in day. And what should happen now is if we go near villagers, some of them should give us stuff. Why are you all being so stingy? I've just saved your village. Well, the Iron Golem saved your village. I kind of just watched. But hey. Hey, give me stuff. What are you doing? Can I... Can I... Tr can I... Tr no, don't, don't shoot him. Oh, and we get discounts as well? 
Yeah, so for two game days, you also get huge discounts, which is kind of nifty. Not a single villager has given me a single thing. Are you kidding? The shade in this village being thrown is unbelievable. Are you guys serious? Are you serious? I just saved your village. I saved all your villages. Kind of, I, I, I'm so confused. Hey, he gave me wheat seeds. <laughs> okay, did you see that? All right, so that was a pretty rubbish present, not gonna lie. But um, it's uh, apparently like that if there's any children in the village, they'll give you flowers. Um, I've also I also read that at some point they give you cookies, <laughs> which I thought was kind of sweet. Why did they keep giving me seeds? Oh, is it because they're swamp people? I wonder if the things that they give you depend on what they are. I have no idea. So yeah, maybe maybe these guys are just giving me seeds. I don't really want your seeds, though. I want a cookie. What are you going to give me? Well, I didn't get very much from these dudes, did I? Unbelievable scenes. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, in theory, they're supposed to give you stuff. I think I got given some seeds... But that's about it. It's a bit it's a bit stingy, I'm not gonna lie, but hey, it's very strange. But yeah, check this out. So this is the new raid mechanic. Now, obviously, as I kind of mentioned, I feel like the only thing that's sort of holding this back slightly is literally just the shape of how the villages um, generate. So I think maybe one fix for that would be to kind of, I don't know, almost maybe uh, like spawn in the, the raid parties a bit closer. Or maybe have some kind of area that generates so it puts like a big line of um, dirt and then they spawn and walk over it. Because I think that it's actually getting those raiders into the village that takes a little bit of time. But when they're actually in here, things do work. You can take them down. All of them are working perfectly. You get the buffs. The bad omen is working. The NPC the villagers do their new thing. All of the AIs are great. It's just a case of getting them into the village. That's the tricky bit. But hey. Kind of everything. And it's just a snapshot, so they might do some fixes. But I think that's going to be about it for today. So yeah, just checking out the new raid system here in Minecraft. Very, very cool. I like it. I like it. <laughs> well, there we go. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to put me in that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Minecraft done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rancio!